Hi, it's Carl Kwan here from PresentationExpressions.com. I've got something that is going to really, really help all of you that have to give a presentation in a very short amount of time. You don't have a lot of time to prepare because this can happen to anybody and it's something that I think is a really good skill to have. So what do you do? Well, there's going to be three things that you have to do. Number one, I'm going to call this, first of all, the challenge. Okay, so the challenge means that you're going to talk about a challenge that you are currently experiencing within your business, your school, your life, whatever it may be that is related to your topic. So if your topic is, for example, economics, then you could talk about the current state of the economy in different places around the world. And what you could do then is talk about the challenge of that. So what you do is you're going to do everything in the form of a story. So number one, you're going to state the challenge and you do it as a story. And how this works is you're going to say something like this. You know, hello everyone, my name is Carl. I'm going to talk to you about one of the challenges that we're facing right now in the economy. And the situation in Europe is really bad. We all know that. And so blah, 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 blah. You state the challenge like that, just like you're telling a story to somebody that you know. It's really simple to do, especially if you know the topic really well. Then what you want to do is, the third thing you want to do then, is you want to use examples. Okay, so you're going to give examples of the challenge. You're going to say, within your story, say, well, you know, for example, you know, where right now in Greece, they have such a huge problem, and that problem that was in Greece spread to other places, and now the entire Eurozone is experiencing some huge problems. And it sounds like there could be a worldwide depression that could happen. And then what you want to do then is you want to offer, sorry, it's going to be four things, I guess, is some kind of a solution. Okay, this really can go together. Your challenge and story can go together. So really you could say examples and solution could be number two and number three, if you wanted to say it that way. But you want to offer a solution now. What do you think is your solution or what do you think is just your real opinion about what can be done? Okay, so it's really simple to do. The main point is to remember to use examples. State your challenge, state the examples, and tell a story. Okay, one, two, and three, really important. Just talk about the challenge, explain it in a story, and use some examples to back up what you're saying. This really works well when you don't have very much time to prepare for a presentation. And in fact, many people just recently I taught this to, it's really simple for them to do it as well, okay? Even if they don't speak English as their first language, I just spit there, I don't know if you saw that. Anyway, if you spit while you're giving a presentation, just kind of ignore it, or if it was really big, then you can also mention, oh, I just spit there, and acknowledge that that happened. Okay, anyway, thank you very much. If you have any questions or if you have any ideas about this, then please let us know. Leave a comment or write to us as well, okay? PresentationExpressions.com. And my name is Carl. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.